Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is December the 29th, 2021. Ethereum. Yes, is Ethereum about to crash? Should we not buy Ethereum at this particular price? Well, welcome to HFN, also known as Infinu. This is what I do. I do price predictions without the confusion. I mean, look at my chart right now. You guys can see that I did a price prediction in the market in Ethereum all the way back here on November the 21st. I did a follow on video on December the 8th. Still playing the strength to the market in Ethereum. And I mean, look at the chart. I mean, the market is telling us something different. I'm going to break that down today to see if Ethereum is going to continue to fall in price. Because if so, I mean, don't you want to be in the know about it? I mean, wouldn't you want someone to give you a heads up that the price is about to go down? Well, let's talk about that today then, all right? So you appreciate my content, my price predictions. Make sure you guys join the team, join the community, hit the like button, sit and also subscribe to the channel because I made this simple and easy. I'm not here to give you a whole lot of fluff, ponies, rainbows, moon boy talk. No, I strictly look at what the people are trying to do with the money because money talks, but noise walks. All right. So let's talk about this real quick. Now, something happened over the last video in Ethereum's market that really makes me question how strong is this particular space in Ethereum, right? So I did a video right here, right? December the 8th. You guys could go back and listen to it. I was still playing the strength to the market in Ethereum. And look what's been happening since then. I mean, the market has been dwindling in its value. It's been dropping since that time. So what in the world is going on in Ethereum? If the market truly was strong, it would have capitalized back there on December the 8th. Or the beginning of this month and it hasn't happened next thing i wanted to show you all if you guys have been on this channel before i tell you at all times whenever you look at a price chart you always pay attention to the volume right always now what happened on this day right here december the 13th right we saw a massive amount of volume come through right we did so when we move up a little bit i want you all to look at the price bars then OK, this would be indicative of the market buying because the price in Ethereum did not go down. Right. It didn't. But when you look at this a little bit closer, did the market increase in value substantially? Did the market move higher by a whole amount, by a large amount? No, it didn't. That also tells you something else is going on in the market in Ethereum. So if you guys wasn't able to capitalize onto the market on a follow on video, which wasn't long, 44.50, right? It's on about three and three quarters of a percent. Bring it down just a little 3%. You were to get out now. It's around 12, almost 13% loss right there. Now, this is nothing if we're looking for the price in Ethereum to continue to go down, though. This is nothing. This 12, almost 13% is nothing if you're looking for the market in Ethereum to go massively lower. Yes, it's not. So I don't like what price has been doing since our last video. So I need to cut it. I need to cut this play, especially if I think that the price is going to continue to drop. So let me go ahead and cut this out now. Take that 13% loss and let's speak. Let's talk because I wanted to show you all something. The market in Ethereum, after we saw this massive volume day, was finding restriction here. Right up there. Okay, this is it. This is where the market has determined that it is not able to break above. Okay, $4,200. The price in Ethereum could not break above that. Now, is it a coincidence that it is even right here to where the market hit highs back in May? It's not a coincidence. The answers are already here on the chart. We just got to understand how to read it and see what everyone else is trying to tell us. Now, that is the first issue. This is one of the first issues to let me know that Ethereum is generally more weaker than it is giving us strength right now. OK, because of us unable to break up above forty one fifty or forty two hundred dollars. OK. Question. What do you think is the trend? Like, I don't I don't want to scare anyone, though. I want everyone to understand that the trend into the market in Ethereum is massively bullish. I mean, look at this as I zoom out. The market in Ethereum is massively strong. So am I looking for a crash? No, I'm not looking for a crash in this perspective, but I want to preface what I'm saying. We can still see price go down. Okay. 
Now the question is, how low do you think price is going to go? That's the question. Because as I created this ascending line right here, you guys can see that um, you might break it. And if we're going to break it, we need to figure out, okay, cool. I mean, if the market's going to go down, it's going to go down. There's nothing that I can do about it. There's nothing that you can do about it. We just need to be prepared for it. So where do you think it's going to go? 3,600, 34, 3,000. How low do you think the price is going to go in Ethereum? Let me show you the three day. Okay, this is the three day time frame here into the market in Ethereum. Now, it's a very strong market. Like I said, this is not one of those weakness type environments to where you expect the market to continue to go down. I'm not looking forward to that. That is not my expectation. But given what has happened recently into the market in Ethereum, I mean, we need to be prepared though. 3,600, 34, 3,000. I mean, how low do you think we're going to hit? Look at this on a weekly. Okay. Now we have four days and nine hours left, but we definitely need to be paying attention to what the market is doing on this current weekly price bar. Look at this on the five day the market is still giving us some weakness here too. Look at this on the two day the market is still giving us some weakness here too. So, I mean, you tell me, does this market look pretty strong for Ethereum? This is the two weeks time frame. Look at this. All of these two weekly price bars right here. It's nothing but weakness, and we're still bleeding into this current two weekly price bar. I'm not here to convince you, I'm here to show you what the market is already showing us as a collective that the overall price in Ethereum is still weak, right? So, what is your price prediction? Don't worry about it, I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking forward to into the market in Ethereum. I, I will. But I will tell you one thing that I, I won't be expecting the price in Ethereum to go up until I see it break above $4,200. Okay. So now, right now, what I'm doing, I'm preparing myself to see where can the buyers appear into the market for Ethereum. Okay. Now, my first spot is around $3,600. See, I, like I said, I'm not massively bearish into the market in Ethereum. I'm not really looking forward to a crash because there's enough buyers in this market. For Ethereum, that price will be able to support itself under any bounce of selling. There will be a market to buy it. Okay, so 3600 is my first one. My second one is around 34. Okay, now the biggest area that I'm looking forward to is around 32, though. So if I were to put in this price prediction in Ethereum for 32, it's maybe like 15% movement to the downside, right? 15%. Now, I'm going to play the weakest into the market in Ethereum until I see the price break above $4,200. Okay. So, I think you guys can pretty much see what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm playing some weakness here. Now, like I said, not massively bare. So, all those who are bulls into the market in Ethereum, you guys can relax. But... Generally, I'm playing a little bit of weakness here. 3,600, 34, and 32. Those are the three price levels that I'm expecting the buyers to step in. If they don't, then I'm looking around 3,000. Okay? Yeah, $3,000. Now, how soon am I looking for this to happen? All right? Well, I'm looking for this to happen relatively soon. Maybe next three days, five days. And we can see the market in Ethereum try to top out around 3,600, 34 generally. And then we might see another resumption back up to some higher prices, right? Just like this. Okay. Then the market may try to come back up to around 42. And then we might ultimately break down and hit 3,000. If we don't see no strength coming on a longer term basis, i.e. the two weeks, three weeks time frame. If that market is still reflecting weakness from that time perspective, yeah, be prepared for the market to go lower in Ethereum. But as of right now, I am not going to forecast that. This is my forecast right here. So now I want to know. I want you all to hit me up and tell me where you think the price in Ethereum is going to go over the next five days. Yeah, just five days. I mean, try this for yourself. You need to become more proficient at understanding the market dynamics without, dependent, without being dependent on someone else. So drop it. Hit me up. 
made you maintain a profitability and as always trade different